Hello, Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera everyone. Yes, it is good to be back and it is our English year 2 lesson. I hope you are ready. So, without wasting much time, let's go. Alright boys and girls, for this lesson, I want you to get ready with your Superminds Workbook 1B. I'm, I am sure you have it with you right now. And we're going to look into the activity in Unit 6, The Old House, which is in page 70. So turn to page 70 in your book right now. So, in page 70, you will see this first activity, which is write the words. How to complete this activity? Alright. The first one already been done for you. The first one, this one is head and coat hanger or we call it head and coat stand. Normally, in which part of the house you will see this object? As I said just now, it is already been done for you. Yes, it is in the hall. Okay. Normally, we can find it in the hall. Okay, now I will give you another example for number 2. What can you see from picture number 2? It's a bed. No, you don't have to write bed here. But you have to find where can you find a bed in a house. Can you get the answer by now? Yes, you can find bed in a bedroom so you already get the answer for number two and then you have to go through number three four five six seven and eight on your own number three is a bathtub number four stove number five sofa number six what is this yes most probably the ghost isn't it and then number seven is a dining table what about number eight what's that it's a stairs handrail okay stairs and rail now we look at the next activity number two still in page 70 in your book choose a room write and draw the first picture being done for you is the boy set me in my living room so, what about yours? Are you in your bedroom or living room also? Let me give you one example so you have the idea how to do this. Let's say you love to read before you go to sleep. Okay? So, you can draw me in my bedroom. Like this girl, she is reading in on her bed in her bedroom. So you get the idea, by, uh, the idea by now, isn't it? Okay, off to the next one. For this activity or this exercise, you will turn to page 71, still in your workbook 1B. Okay, listen and circle. For this activity, I will play an audio for you. You will have to listen carefully. And then, look at your book circle the correct answer okay this is also based on the video that i already shared with you previously in our previous lesson okay you can refer to that video also okay now are you ready one two three workbook page 71 one Listen and circle. One. There's a frog on the piano. Two. There's one butterfly on the flower. Three. There are three bananas in the lunchbox. Four. 
There are four apples in the tree. Five. There's a lizard on the log. Six. There's a football on the TV. So, did you manage to get all of the answer? The first one, as usual, already been done for you. The answer is... There's a frog on a piano. So you will have to continue with number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Next one. In page 71, the second activity is Look at the pictures in activity 1. Circle the words. Alright. In this exercise, you will have to re refer to your answer from the first activity like this one picture number one you have circle there's a frog on the piano so the answer for question number one activity two will be there's a frog on the piano there's a frog on the piano for this explanation, how to use theirs and they are, I already shared with you a video also. You can refer to our previous lesson. Well, boys and girls, we come to the end of our last lesson. I hope you get something from this lesson. If you still didn't manage to get the answer for all of this activity, you can watch this video all over again later on. So. Until next time, bye-bye.